Hey, what's up guys? Ben here, um, and welcome to the 10th installment of FRC Robotics Team 2485 Java Programming Tutorial videos. And today we are going to be working on, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, create a sub, so you made a subsystem last time, um, and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, initiate or instantiate your subsystem in your robot class. So we have that open. So let's go into there, and we already know that we have rollers. So I'm just going to show you in this video kind of how the existing code works in that way um, and explain some of those intricacies. It should be a pretty short one. The other one might be a little bit longer, but both of these should be pretty short, honestly. It's not not too complicated. Okay, so as I said before, um, the extends iterative robot allows you to have these methods. Um, and... Basically, think about your robot in the same kind of object-oriented way that you're thinking about your other subsystems. So the robot um, also has uh, uh, also has fields in it, the same way that the um, ratchet and the rollers have fields in them. But the robot kind of has bigger fields. The robot has like a subsystem as a field. So the ratchet field or the um, rollers field. Um, and just the same way you would in a in a different class, you can um, declare those fields outside of the any of the methods. Um, there's no constructor for the robot uh, in this class. You don't really have to worry about doing that, but you do have to initialize the um, you do have to initialize the fields that you declare here inside of the robot init uh, method. So here you can see that. Well, I kind of have three different fields that I need in order to, um, and I don't know if this is the best design. You might want to have the speed controllers just being um, created inside of your rollers class, but I suppose this works too. Um, so you declare the speed controllers out here, you declare the rollers out here, and then um, the rollers... Uh, this is rough, but the rollers have to be public static because we're going to be using them in another, in another place in the code. So static means that, I mean, you're not going to have multiple um, instantiations of the robot, so it's okay that rollers are a static field, even though each robot kind of technically has its own ro <laughs> rollers, but um, it works. Then you can just call it on the robot. You don't have to instantiate the robot class, so... That all works out well, except for the fact that it's public, could be dangerous, but we're the only ones really interacting with our code, so it should be okay. Um, anyway, you get to the robot init method, and here's where you're going to initial, you're going to initialize all of your subsystems. So um, I'm going to start out by just initializing some Victor SP. Victor SP is just a type of speed controller, um, and Every time you construct a speed controller, you got to give it its port. Same with a solenoid. Um, so here I have both speed controllers: the left roller, the left roller, left. That would be like the left. No, wait, that'd be the left roller. That'd be the right roller. And um, you just have to find the port numbers. So if you go on your Robo Rio, you'll be able to see if the wiring is done like nicely and cleanly and you can follow the wires back you can see where this left roller motor or the left motor speed controller where the PWM cable was plugged into the robo reel and these numbers correspond with that so the uh, libraries are really nice they set up everything behind the scenes for you so you just have to remember that when you set up the robot you have to get these port numbers and that's why I just left this little find port numbers comment here um, because these are just random port numbers. I don't know if they're actually going to be, be. I'm almost positive that they won't actually be that just based on like, <laughs> the statistics. But um, anyway, so you create a new Victor SP, and that's going to go into the left roller and the right roller. And then rollers, plural, the bigger subsystem, is going to take the rollers constructor, which we went through last time. And that just takes two speed controllers, the left one and then the right one. Um, and then right after that, you just system out that print line initialized, and your robot is all initiated. If um, all you have is the rollers, but next time we're going to show you how to create um, the solenoid 
uh, field and it's a little bit different on the robot init not too different but we'll walk you through that and uh, I hope that was helpful uh, see you guys next time thank you